What's up, Christ United Kids? Are you ready to practice our super long verse for this week? All right, I'm gonna go slow and let you repeat after me because I know we've only had one day practicing it, okay? So here we go. 2 Timothy 2.15. Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved a worker who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word of truth. Excellent. Do you want to try to go a little faster? Who thinks they can do it with me? All right, let's try it. First, second Timothy 2, 15. Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word of truth. All right, so this verse has a lot of words and I want you guys to get your Bibles and find it in your Bible it's in the New Testament, almost at the very back of your Bible. It's in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. All right? And just like I like to do, you probably want to underline it in your Bible, read it, and all of that. But this was Paul giving directions to his friend Timothy. And Timothy was much younger than him, but Timothy was going to lead a church. He was a young pastor. Okay, so like a super young Pastor Jeff, all right? And Paul was giving him, wrote him letters, 1 Timothy and 2 Timothy, to give him encouragement and instruction. Timothy had walked with Paul, and then Paul left him to leave the church by himself. And these are directions that Paul is giving to Timothy. So let's look at this verse. He's telling Timothy and each of us, we have to do our very best to present ourselves to God as one approved, all right? How do we get approved by God? By knowing that Jesus is in our heart, all right? That's how we know that we have a relationship with Jesus, with God, is by asking Jesus to come into our hearts, asking his Holy Spirit to change us and make us more like him, okay? That's how we get that check mark. That's what I'm making when I say as one approved, we make a check mark, okay? And it says, a worker who does not have to be ashamed. What would we be ashamed of? You're right. Guys, we all have sin and we all do things wrong. And Paul is reminding us that when we have Jesus in our heart, we are approved. We are a worker that doesn't have to be ashamed. But the end of this verse is where we're going to focus. And who correctly another check mark, handles the word of truth. What do you think the word of truth is? It's the Bible. That's exactly right. As we grow up, as we get older, as we read God's word, we are supposed to handle it correctly, which means that we use God's word to grow us, to teach us, to help us to learn more about who God is and who Jesus is and what his plan for our life is. It means that we don't use God's word incorrectly. We don't, we don't give people Bible verses or tell them about the Bible to try to get them to do what we want them to do. All right, so if somebody's being mean to you and you're like, oh, well, you know, the Bible says and you need to do it. Well, that's not what the Bible is for. It's there to teach us to help us to be better people, to help us to have a relationship closer with, with Jesus. And we're all called to tell other people about Jesus, but we have to be very careful about how we use God's word, all right? And that's what we're gonna spend all week long on talking about. How do we know God's word and use God's word correctly so that we don't have to be ashamed and so that we can do our very best to present ourselves to God as one approved, all right? So let's pray for that. Dear Jesus, we thank you so much. God, we thank you for your word. We thank you so much that we have the Bible to teach us, to grow us, to make us more like you. 
And God, we pray that this week we would get so excited about learning from the Bible and learning your word. And all God's children said, amen. All right, guys and girls, I will see you tomorrow when we talk more about God's word.